guys, Sally here from Hawaii Paper Party and my mailman just delivered my February 2015 paper pumpkin kit. How cute is this? These are thank you cards, but they're a little bit different. Um, they're accordion folded and it's so cute, but the instructions tell you how to make this here. And basically it's the thank you card in like this little cute crayon box. And um, you wrap it um, with this baker's twine and it opens and then it says I just wanted to say and then when they open it it says thanks cute right and then there's a um, a little box here where you can write your message to whoever you want to write it to so super cute I love these little boxes um, you can make eight of these I believe this month's kit came with a really good stamp set. I mean, there's a lot of stamps in this stamp set. So we get this big um, circle blob and these cute little sentiment stamps with a really cute font. It says, I just wanted to say and thanks. You get this little polka dot. You get this little, um, but I like it. It's really cute. You could even make like a giraffe print with this with like browns and creams. Um, and then we have like this triangle um, pattern and the stripe. So um, you can make eight of these or you can do some alternative projects, which um, I have um, made up here. And um, one of the things is we get these felt stickers and um, they're really big stickers this month. Usually you can use the negative space um, and use it on a card or something, which you could. You could cut out you know, each letter individually, um, if you wanted to, but I decided to cut the whole, um, the whole sentiment out, um, because this felt is really thick and it is really hard. You probably won't be able to cut it on your, um, tabletop paper cutter. So I just kind of eyeballed it and used some really good, um, scissors and I just backed it with some pool party cardstock. And um, I'm going to mat it with my snail onto some daffodil cardstock. And this measures seven and a quarter by two and three quarters. And that mats pretty well. There we go. And I'm going to mat this onto some basic black cardstock that measures uh, eight and three quarters by three and a half. And this mats onto um, a card base that fits into one of these long letter size envelopes. And this measures nine by seven and a half folded in half and these are really this is a good size to hold money so um since our our felt stickers say thanks um this would be good to give to like um a teacher at the end of the school year um, or like someone you need to say thank you to and would like to include some money or um, seeing it fits in this envelope. How cute is that? I love it. Um, if you're going to give like a tip to someone, some movers or something like that, um, you can make them a little card to go with their little cash payment. So there's that. Um, also the um, little folds on each one. What you can do is you can cut off two and make a little enclosure card. Or you can cut out each segment, which is what I did here. And I decorated them. So um, this one has the little pineapple print with the sentiment. And this one has the polka dot with the thanks that I just did in black. And they reminded me of Project Life Cards. And um, this is a Project Life card um, that is free with Celebration. 
um, every $50 you spend with Stampin' Up, you get a free um, freebie in the celebration catalog. And one of the things that you can choose is the project life cards and what these are are a scrap it's it's a scrapbooking system but if you don't scrapbook like me I use them for cards to decorate my cards um, I also use them in my filofax or my planner um, they are shy about a quarter of an inch around so what I did was I made a mat to go with my little card that I decorated. And this makes it the perfect size for your Project Life scrapbooks if you do scrapbook. And if you don't, then um, they're the perfect size for your Filofax, your planners, um, to put on a card, to embellish a card. Um, or you could make an envelope to go with them and treat them as cards little thank you cards so like an enclosure card that you would get at like say the florist or something like that so this is a cute style and here is just a card base that I just layered some um, free celebration paper on top of and you could add your baker's twine to this that would be really cute um, but we can just add our project our faux project life card on there and then we have a regular card that we can send out and of course you can add the baker's twine that comes in your kit across here that would be cute too just just give it a little something extra so yeah we made um some cool things this month a really cute thank you accordion card and you can make eight of these and what you can do to stretch your paper pumpkin you could take this and you could wrap it with the twine and give it like this instead of in the box. And um, it's the same effect. And then you can keep the boxes for something else for like little candy treats or um, little trinkets, a little gift. And you can stamp on these, you can write on them. This is cool. So you could separate them if you wanted to. That's an idea. And we also made our little money card that um, fits into a letter sized envelope with the negative space from our felt. And we also made little project life cards. Um, these will measure three and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Um, the mats and then you just cut these and layer them on top so you will have little project life cards if you do some project life scrapbooking if you don't then you can use them to uh, make full-size cards like this one or you can keep them mini and make small little enclosure cards and of course we still have a lot more accordion card bases you can cut them up to make more project life cards we have tons and tons of felt if you do all of them and make eight accordion thank you cards you will also have the negative space to make eight money thank you cards so um that's already 16 cards not counting um everything that you can make with your stamps um, so this is a really good deal. So here's the felt, here's the accordion cards, and here is all of our boxes. Whoa. Oh, and you also get the massive stamp set. This is a really big stamp set. This is probably, this is about the same amount of stamps as you would get in a regular Stampin' Up! stamp set. That costs, you know, $15 to $18. So very happy with this, with this stamp set. So hope you enjoyed it. If you are not a um, subscriber to Paper Pumpkin, I will put all my info down below to, sh to let you know how to do that. Um, I do have perks. If you are subscribed to me, um, you will get a free card from me every month that I make myself. You will get a free stamp case every six months that you are subscribed. I think I've caught up with everyone, 
but there are um, a lot of you actually who get their six month stamp cases this month. So they'll go out with your thank you card this month. So just hang tight. I am catching up. Um, I want to thank all of you guys for your support. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing um, to me as your demo. And I cannot thank you enough. So I will be sending those out shortly. And um, I think a few of you are making a year this month as well. So I'm also going to include a case um, instead of a stamp case because you guys already got a stamp case for your six months. I'm going to include a case to hold your ink spots. Maybe I'll do a video on that later um, or showcase it for next month's Paper Pumpkin. But yeah, um, I will see you guys next month. Aloha. Bye.